Hi, this is Anne for Graphic Design How To, and today we're going to talk about stock photography ideas, stock vector ideas, what people are searching for and what you should be creating as a stock image artist. And I got the idea for this video um, from a guy named Asad. So thank you Asad for the idea. So first we're going to go over some overarching ideas, what you should really be creating that'll sell a lot. And then we'll go over some keyword ideas and I'll show you examples all the way through. So let's get started. Okay, so first the overarching concepts and ideas. Um, business images. Every company out there is a business, obviously, so they are going to use a lot of business images. So I want to give you a few examples. If you have friends that are fairly good looking people, you can dress them up in suits and um, have them doing natural poses in business situations and those sell like crazy out there. You can also take images that you don't have to get model releases for like this one because there's no recognizable face in this image. You do not have to get a model release here. And you can do a lot of different business situations like this. These overhead shots sell really well because they give you a feeling of what a business meeting is like and a graphic designer could just drop those in a blog. So these types of images are really trendy right now and you see them on websites all the time. So they are gonna sell really well. Here are a few examples of vectors you could use. We have um, a lot of different concepts here. Some have to do with finance, some have to do with global reach. These are just really useful for graphic designers who need to put an icon on a web page or in an infographic, eBooks, these are super helpful. Um, you can even go with a more illustrative concept like this one. This one could say that he's looking to the future businessman who's looking to grow his career, upward mobility, all of those things. And then character sets. Character sets are something that people use a lot. If you have each of these little people doing various business type things, they are going to sell well. Now, another type of image that is going to sell really well is industry specific images. And these kind of go right along with the business side of things. But with this one, you're creating your image specifically for, in this image, it's healthcare. So um, again, just dress up your friends in doctor lab coats, try to create natural looking situations around the industry like healthcare here. You can also just do still shots that show a certain concept like patient medical history in this example. Construction is another good example. Obviously there are tons of construction businesses and they all need all of these marketing materials. And of course they can't all afford photo shoots. So they reach out to the stock sites to get their images for their websites and for any other marketing needs they may have. Um, restaurants, you can set up food shots. You can set up servers with customers. A lot of different options here. And then of course you can make icon sets that pertain to the industry too. Um, here are a few different styles of icons or um, scenes that you could create with vectors. You can even do like little fake logos and put those on the stock sites. Here are a few construction vectors and these probably sell really well because they are all the same style. So if the person searching needs several different ones, they're going to want to match the style. And this makes it really easy for them to do that. For healthcare, you could do anatomy images. You could do some silhouettes of doctors. Silhouettes also sell pretty well. Um, let's move on to diversity. Diversity is so hugely popular, of course, because these days we really are a global society. So um, any images you have where a lot of different types of ethnicities are working together on a project, say, that could work really well. Character sets here too with people from all different backgrounds. And here's an image that actually just conveys diversity. All right, so let's move on to concept images. These don't really have a set image specifically for that. So the artist has to come up with something they think conveys that concept. So here are a few examples like data center. Well, that is something that is tangible, but you could do something like this because it's hard to show a data center in a beautiful way. And I think the photographer really did that with this image. To convey the concept of a data center, uh, this vector artist just drew a very simplified version of the above photo. 
And then here's another version of a data center from a different vector artist. Achievement. Now this kind of thing is something that is really hard to put visually, but I think that these artists have done a really good job of showing it. So this guy at the top of a mountain, um, he's kind of saying, I did it. I climbed this. Hitting the center of the target. And this vector artist shows a lot of different ways to portray achievement in visual form. Um, the next concept image is saving for a rainy day. And you can build images around a lot of phrases like this. So this one is very literal. This photographer just chose a rainy day and then showed saving money on that day. But you don't have to be that literal. You can just draw a picture of saving money and then put saving for a rainy day in your keywords. That way, anytime someone's searching for that, they will see your image. And then here is a kind of interesting concept with an umbrella. Something you should always be looking for are new and current technologies, events, and trends. So for example, virtual reality. Yes, it's not really that new, but I think it's really kicked up in the last couple of years a lot. So to create eye concepts around that and create images that portray virtual reality is a really good idea. Um, another one is Bitcoin. This is something that has obviously gotten really huge in the last few years and then it crashed, but <laughs> I'm sure it'll build back up again. Um, we also have stuff like gluten-free. I think of this as sort of a tongue-in-cheek one because <laughs> obviously flour has gluten, but they chose that to show gluten-free. Um, solar energy, that's something that's gained more and more traction as time's gone on. So it's always good to create around those things that you can see kind of building. And even something like healthcare coverage can be a big trendy thing based on what's going on with the current government. So keep those in mind. If you hear a new word on the news, try to create some images around that. Maybe they'll take off. All right, seasons or holidays. I like to create based around what is coming up. Um, for example, you could create an image of Easter eggs or something to do with Easter since that's coming up. Um, Black Friday, that's a little, that's one you might not think of as a holiday, but it's a big deal, at least in America. And then back to the current events type images, International Women's Day has really gained a lot of popularity recently. Um, so there are images out there now created around that. So keep in mind all of those, um, even like obscure days, you can do a search on Google, find out what days are coming up and then create images around those. Okay, so let's talk about keywords. There are some keywords that according to Shutterstock and Adobe Stock have really um, been searched for a lot more this year and last year than they have ever before. And I wanted to go over some of those that I thought were interesting with you. First off, um, the word unicorn is up 297% in the search rankings and the word mermaid is up a lot too. And I see this also on Etsy. I see a lot more fantasy related stuff that they're selling there. So fantasy might be something that you wanna look at to create images of. The word solar is up 991%. Now this might have something to do with the solar eclipse that happened this year, but it's really interesting to see a jump like that in that word. International Women's Day, we talked about this earlier. That phrase has been searched 660% more this year than last. And then the word arabesque, which I thought was really odd, is really, really up 8,500%. Cryptocurrency is up 1,000%. We already talked about Bitcoin and how that has really gained in popularity. So yeah, create some images around cryptocurrency. I bet they'll sell. Okay, so I wanna tell you a little bit about where I got my information. It is all these links, and I'll put those in my descriptions. Um, this is just Shutterstock's Creative Trends and Adobe Stock's Creative Trends. So just take a look at those if you get a chance. All right, so that's my video for today. I hope you all liked it and will use it to get better at doing stock images, and I'll see you next Thursday. Thanks.